basketball. Know Quite well, actually. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. Wow. Can I just say, it's exciting to be here. I, I always get excited um, standing in front of a crowd. I never take it for granted. And you'd assume that after eight years of being in the media world, it gets to a point where it's kawa. It's like, Mwah. she's probably used to it. But it feels good to be up here because of the journey. And um, I too, I am a, a proud alumni of Centonomy 101. It has been a remarkable journey that I'm about to share with you. As we also take a look at the theme today, being getting out of the comfort zone. And you know, it's funny, eh? When today I was getting ready, I was telling myself, eh, Mwalimu, we'll make sure you wear comfortable shoes. You knew you were going to be standing. Yeah? So I wore my most, not the highest heels that I have on my closet, eh? And then again, the irony of me telling people not to get too comfortable. See the irony? You see that, eh? <laughs> but with shoes, the ladies, you can agree with me on this. You know that where you're going, the shoes will determine a lot. Eh? You are exactly Glotava, Viatu Lazimu is comfortable. Because I don't want my mind to be on my feet talking uh, and thinking about how tired my feet are. So it's good to be here. And, um, you know, just taking up Centonomy was me getting out of my comfort zone. Just that. And I remember because, you know, my very good friend Stan is actually the one who told me about Centonomy. And the first thought I said, Centonomy, what is that? Is that a gathering? Is that a cult? I swear to God, that's the first thing that came to mind. I said, I'm not that kind of girl. I said, listen, go to YouTube, get to see what it's all about. And so I did. And I was amazed that it's like this community that exists that other people probably don't but will in due time. I was like, wow, let me, let me get to know what these classes are about. Let me be part of it. And so I started the classes. And before I even registered, I asked Stan again, okay, one thing you need to understand with me is I'm done with 844. I am done <laughs> with 844. <laughs> Remember, my Lisa University, I don't want to go back to school. Kwa hivyo jamula kwanza ibu niambie, kuna exams, haka niambie apana kase masawa. Kuna mathematics, eh, kidogo, you'll be able to handle because money, numbers, they go hand in hand. Siyo, yon lazima. So I said, Aya, sign me up. When do we start? And you know, coming from a place where I'm a career woman, I'm a wife, I'm a mom of one, I said, I think to myself, okay, now I've said I'm going to register, but surely where am I going to get the time? Where am I going to get the time? I'm working, I'm, you know, studio. Mara na itu anende nkafanya voiceover. And by the way, for the next six months, eh, unawajua to meambiwa sasa, if you're a radio presenter, you can't be a voiceover artist. They're taking away food from my plate, Bwana. Ah, so I'm, I'm banking on the next six months to really get in a lot of those voiceover jobs. Kwaivo, if there's anyone in the room, who is in that uh, business? Tafadali. Yes, you can use my voice. So, yeah, I was like, all these things that are happening, I still have to go home, I need to cook, I need to do all these things. How am I going to get the time? But I was amazed at myself because I worked out a plan. And thank goodness, you know, when you have a, a caring partner who is with you and sees your vision, they'll step in for you. And that's something that is God-given. It's, it's like a, a gift I do not take for granted. And I know that he's going to be watching this. Thank you, baby. <laughs> so I was able to do it, you know? He holds down the fort when I'm in class. I come home a little bit later on, and I find everything has been worked out for me. I'm like, oh, great. And now I can just chill and read some of those notes that we were, you know, uh, learning in class. So. Let me tell you a little bit about even before my Centonomy journey began and all in line with getting out of the comfort zone. It's a very good place to be at, isn't it? Right now, see you're comfortable. Mekachini, umetulia, sindio? Can I do a small exercise right now? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. 
the process of standing up from your chair wasn't so comfortable, was it? Yeah? It's like, ah, can we sit back down? All right, sit down. Stand up again. <laughs> exactly. Now you may sit. I would ask you to stand again. <laughs> but that's, that's the process, you know? It's the whole fact that, Yanni, I have to stand up. You have to get out of that place where you're so comfortable. That moment where you are just, ah, all is well with the world. You've, you know, secured that job you've always wanted. Maybe ato mepata kamshahara increment kidogo along the way. And that's at that point, eh? that where I was at Homeboys Radio. I remember getting my first paycheck. And you'd be surprised, I first started on an allowance of 3,000 shillings. 3,000. I was still in campus at the University of Nairobi. Comrade Power? Tuko? Nice. <laughs> so, you know, from that 3,000 bob, eh? Alafu nambiwa, hey! Umeingia sasa show, umepewa the afternoon show. 60,000, hey! Kasema, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> You call your mom and your dad and say, Dad, finally I'm on the payroll. And it was, you know, it wasn't easy getting there. And then you started seeing, you know, I started seeing, well, you know, this life, eh? Now with this, kasalo, nikona ka esku kangu pale, eh? Tanunua tu vitu hapa na pale kidogo. I now have some money to go out with my friends. You know, kila mtu huwa na ile jani yake. And when I was starting mind, already those who were already in that limelight, you know, and I was trying to play catch up, to be seen in those prestigious places with them, those clubs that they'd go to. And that's where I was. I was comfortable. Every Saturday, I knew there was a plan. Just like what Douglas was saying. And I love Douglas's speech, by the way, and Betty as well. So... What did it have to take for me to get out of my comfort zone? A little thing called a baby got me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and it's very interesting, eh? Because, again, Douglas, and, and I love the fact that you said this, because this was also something I was going to talk about. You don't have to wait for a tragedy. I'm not trying to say a baby is a tragedy. Ni baraka kutoka kwa mungu, na huja na saani yake. Lakini... It really changed my way of thinking. I was like, okay, wait. Um, now it's not just about me. It's not about what I'm wearing, where I'm being seen at, and all that hullabaloo. I really need to focus, not just for me, but also for my child. But then I got to discover that even as, yes, I focused on, yes, uh, providing for my uh, son, I also wanted a better life for myself. You see, Mbaya, what is Mbaya? Mbaya? Not at all. And so I said, yeah, in the process, let me build my brand. I had the show, Class 124, and from there is where my brand, you know, started rolling out as Molly Rachel. It's now really become like my name, Molly Rachel. Many people, mostly of the older generation, because they hear the show as well, they listen to the show, and it's a really impactful show by the way. I'm not even trying to blow my own horn, eh? But... They come up to me and say, yeah, you know, I was in the car and my son was telling me, you have to put on boys radio, on boys radio. And then when I listened to you, I said, wow, this is a nice show. So are you really a teacher? <laughs> but because I coined, you know, that uh, name from my show, I was able to build it from the ground up. And that was where really I knew the meaning of getting out of the comfort zone. And this is why. With building your brand, you have to do, you have to go that extra mile. You have to do more things that you would have ordinarily. It's like creating a business, really. So I put up a billboard one time and everyone was in shock. They're like, wait, was there a brand behind yours? I'm like, no, it's my brand, Molly Rachel. No, was there a brand like, Sponsored by so-and-so, no. And even on the billboard, anyone could see that there was no other, you know, brand in there. It was just me announcing the launch of my website, which, by the way, is www.molimorachel.com. All right? So, with that now came other things like um, social media, how to also brand that as well. 
And I noticed now that became another source of income for me. I had the numbers, yes, but I never thought that these numbers could actually give me some income. I just needed to speak to people who are in different brands and tell them, yeah, these are the numbers that I have. And you know what? You can push your product on my social media platforms. Haponi pesa. And many young people tell me, oh, Mwalimu, you know, I don't, I don't have a business. I'm from Kampu. What can I do? You see, your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, because of technology and the digital age, allows you to make some money out of that. You just need to find out the right people. You need to go into those places that you think you're not supposed to be at, but you have to be, so that now you can ask those questions and get someone's card and then start uh, pushing a product for them. Hata yule mama mboga pale nyumbani, ama yule ambako na kiosk. Who says, who says you can't do some social media advertising for them? Change the way you think, and that's how I did it. I said, who says that for me to put up a billboard, I needed another brand to back me up. I'd have to go into my own pocket. That wasn't easy, but I could see that, you know what, this is going to bear fruit in the end. All right? So it's very important to also recognize all these things that are around us, and especially for us young people, so that you can change the game and not just assume that, ah, because apparently it is done in this way that you cannot go ahead and, you know, change things up and shake things up a little bit. So in the process, I was also able to, you know, make the banner. These are my latest babies, yeah? The banner, there's also one out there, out there with my social media handles, just in case you want to get in touch with me. But I'm one of those very, very interactive, uh, you know, people, media personalities. I love to speak to people. So even when you shoot me a DM, I'll respond, an email, Twitter, DM, and all that, I always make sure that I get through to you personally, not even the one who handles my social media account because I do have someone else as my administrator. But with that whole story and, you know, journey that I'm taking you through, I'm hoping that you'll get to discover that it doesn't need, or that, that there doesn't need to be that need, that, uh, you know, a tragedy or something so outside your comfort zone for you to change the way you view life or to change the way you do things. And I started off easy. I had been reading a book, and by the way, I, I, I know Carolyn Motoko has been mentioned here before, and once again, I'm going to mention her. I was at a certain conference sometime, and uh, she said, she was talking about, you know, living life in abundance and, you know, just living life and appreciating life. And she mentioned, you've got to read a book called Veronica Decides to Die. Just the title itself was like, what? I was thinking to myself, is she crazy? This woman's crazy. She wants us to kill ourselves. No. Veronica Decides to Die. Please go. It's even online. Eh? You can go and get it. Read that book. And you'll see why it really, really changed the way that I thought about life, about acting now, and not waiting for a reason for you to react. All right? And with that now, made me want to read even more books. I had a friend, still a good friend of mine, called Kevin. And he told me, you know what? Because you want to get to know about investing and all that, you need to start from scratch. For you, it's a mindset. Because I always used to tell him, I am so not a risk taker. I, I don't. I'm in fact learning it now. I do not take risks. I'm one of those people who takes the same route back home. I have a timetable in the house for all the meals and all that and so on and so forth. You know, Yenny, you have a play. You're just like, eh, I am on this course and I will stay on this course. And then he said, you need to go and uh, read uh, Rich Dad's uh, Cash Flow Quadrant. And as much as I thought it was going to be a lot of jargon, about money, about investing, about this and that. One thing he really stresses on, uh, this Robert Kiyosaki, is change the way that you think, okay? Because when you say risk, you already think loss. And that's not the case. Take small risks. For instance, change your way back home. So I said, okay, I'll take a different route this time. Wala kupitia mbagathi na upper hill. 
let me see where this road is going to lead me. And after you do that, you feel that accomplishment. Eh? You feel like you've done such a big deal. And it only matters to you because only you know the joy that you've derived out of it. Yani, I've gotten out of my comfort zone. I've done something that I've never done before. Wow, this is awesome. Let me do something else more daring. Let me go into farming, which is what I did. Nikaza kupanda mboga. Along the way, I learned many things like, hey, mvue neza beba mboga, eh? Wee, 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 mvua, sichaze mvua, mboga. <laughs> Alafu bazo zilikuwa kwa nasari, tudania pale kidogo, managu, skuma, spinach. The farm manager calls to tell me, hey, mama, zote zimebebwa. Kasema, okay, what to do? <laughs> but I'm still going to keep at it, Maybe not in the mbogas, but there's something else I'm planning to do. So... You see, with that also made me feel like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm still in this. I'm still doing this. Why stop now? Why stop now? Build your brand. Do this and do that. Interact with people. Network. And let me tell you, for the longest time, a friend of mine and a colleague of mine, I love her because we've been in this journey together. Her name is Della. And Della used to tell me, you know what, Rachel, every time we go for these events, you know, as media personalities, we'd always sit in a little corner, and just talk amongst ourselves. Cindy, do you sometimes find yourself doing that? In fact, that's the main reason why if your friend is not going to a certain event, you won't go. Because you're there thinking, now, who will I talk to? What am I going to say to them? They're going to look at me weird. I'll be there standing with my drink the whole night. So she said, you know what, Rachel? We need to challenge ourselves. The next event we go to where? We act like we don't even know each other. Go ile corner, mini ende ile corner, network. And at first, it's scary. Imagine, and you're in the media, and people think that, eh, this comes natural to you. But it doesn't. And it takes some time before you cultivate that, you know, getting out of your comfort zone again. And that risk factor of maybe I'll approach someone and be like, ah, me, I have no time for you. And some people don't even look approachable in the first place. But you still go ahead. Or you think, I am too small to approach the CEO of a certain company. That thought needs to disappear, and it will take time, but you need to start today. Don't wait. Are you Are already a presenter? What are your numbers? Yeah. Let me give you a call tomorrow. I'll email you this. We need to push this product. This is the amount we're paying you. 30000 a post, 40000 a one post. Just on Twitter. That one tweet eh, is worth a lot. Hi. Namashi Akendelea. But it had to start from that point where I told myself, you know what? There's a lot out there that we are just sitting on and assuming that we cannot do. When in reality, it is all at our disposal. The only thing that you need to do is get out of your comfort zone. And many people also um, on Twitter ask me, okay, well... I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do that, I've been trying to do this for the longest time, but it's not working. And they feel like, maybe I'm not doing it right, or maybe it's not for me. In whatever space you are right now in your life, and you feel like, I've tried this, what they're saying, I've tried it, I've tried it. Have you tried Centonomy? Have you tried centonomy? What do you have to lose? You're thinking, well, that is something gain. That's not losing, that's gaining. And I'll tell you why, because, and no, I'm not even paid to do so, imagine. It's because of the love and what I've gained, and I want to share it with the world. And you, it's actually one thing that we're told as centonomy. You have got that responsibility to share what you've learned to someone else, not to teach them, to tell them, by the way, there's this place there, eh? you can go and you can learn a lot. It's invaluable. You can't even quantify it. And so with me talking about Centonomy, other people got interested. And they started saying, well, how can I enroll? How can I do this? And they've even called, you know, Centonomy to speak to someone to get all the details. And I discovered that personally, Apart from, all right, what I've been able to share with people, even on my show, I 
sat down and then I said to myself, how has this changed me? How has this changed my life? The things that I do, the places I go, the people I meet, the people I speak to. One thing is, yes, I sweat the small stuff. I sweat the small stuff. That whole, ah, this is just a sock. Not in my vocabulary anymore. In fact, I feel offended when there's anyone next to me. Ah, but just, it's just a sock more. And I'm thinking to myself, no, time value of money. Where? That 100 bob quantifies to a lot at the end of the day. So that's one thing I'm, you know, proud to say I've taken for myself and even my household. And you should hear how my husband now speaks about money. He's like, hey, you, you're so nini about money. Him is supposed to start the course. <laughs> but I remember even with the new year beginning, we sat down. And you, one of the things that we even told us, told me, is just because you have gone through, you know, the 11 weeks and you feel, yes, empowered and all these, you know, things that you want to practice. So Cornelia motto, you have that fire to start something, to change something in your household. Take it easy on that person who you're probably living with because don't assume that they're going to take it the same way you've taken it. You need to especially if you're, there's any lady here who's married and maybe you want to get your husband involved eh? to also come for the course or to help turn things around in the home. By the way, kutoka leo, ukijua nataka change hapa. Here, no. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Suggest, you know, be nice to the babe. You know, today, there's something interesting that I was taught. And you know, you also have to time his moods. Eh? Something that I was taught. Eh? Not sure we save, but do we really know what we are saving for? We're told it's good to save, isn't it? It's good to save. Save, 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 save. But what are you saving for? Can we have a target for 2016? He says, mm-hmm. What did you have in mind? Then I knew I'm in. I said, if we we need an upgrade. We need a what? That was big fridge. This, this. I said, hey, okay. So I asked him, roughly how much is it? You know, get him involved also. And I say, my na cost and gap. Eh. Says a babe, if we save this amount of money per month, so no one within this time frame to neza pata kakitu kazuri kwa nyumba. He agreed. He said, you know what? That's a very good idea. So start small. Again, just getting out of that comfort zone. <laughs> and they have served as well. I don't want to get to the point where it breaks down for me to now get a better one. So I'm starting now. I'm saying, and also just so I can practice what I have learned at Syntonomy. Let me start having those targets. I sit down. I'm on my laptop. I'm looking at, hey, Pesa for the year, for, you know, for the month, entering into the, you know, the whole year. And it feels good. I assure you, you get a very good feeling once you know you are in charge of your finances. It boosts your confidence. It makes you feel like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And I know why I'm doing this. I can tell you one thing for a fact. After Sentonomy, I'm going to get a office Hey, even my boss knew there was a change in my life. <laughs> He used to ask me, hey, all right. Yeah, you're, you're, you're dressed different, not because you've gone and bought expensive things, it's because you've discovered toy market. Eh? True? Serio? Amen to that. You start talking different because now you're talking things about time value of money. You know, some, some, eh? Kaluga luga apa kidogo. And at a cash flow. Eh? Cash flow. <laughs> Your language changes. It changes. And so the next time I've even, you know, in a boardroom and asking me, okay, so what ideas do you have? And I drop those few jewels here and there. And they say, you're not just a kawaida presenter. Unaona mbali, ukona vision. Maneno mba hata unatumia, si a kawaida. Weza ona kweli we ni mtu mba ukona lengo flani maishani. Be them I was born and raised in Mombasa. Some people ask me, when I'm tired, I'm in here. I'm in Like any born and raised in Mombasa, and some people, uh, they, you know, make a point of asking me, 
on my show. Hey, where did you learn that Kiswahili? Mombasa ni tu, kuzaliwa na kulelewa huko. Kwa hivyo, in, in so doing, uh, you know, changing your mindset, you awaken your appetite for even risk taking. And when I started off, I told you, I was so not a risk taker. I am still learning how to take these risks. The same friend of mine, he's an investment banker, by the way, Kevin, and he has this great farm, huge farm. Yeah, P and I, great investor, comes with his career anyway. And he told me, Rachel, I need about half a million. I want you to be an investor in my farm. <laughs> so wait, I was not ready. I wasn't ready. What, what, excuse me, how much again? Yeah, half a million. He's very confident when he says that to him. I mean, he's dealt with more money than that. Eh? But for me, that was the work I'd put. It was money that I had collected yani, over a period of time from all these little, little gigs, eh? the, the ads that I did, the voiceovers, the this, the that, the side hustle. No, no. Now your person will to be able to get your money. You will receipt. Sometimes you just even want to have that receipt. You just be looking at it. Hey, it looks so good, doesn't it? <laughs> From your side hustle. This is not even from your salo. This is not from your salo. Just from kahasol me piga hapa na pale. Unenda tu kwa bank tu kuchekila tayo. Mebu ni abayani. Balance. Balance. Amo ukiwa nele ya mobile banking ya always there. Let me just see the balance. And then, I, you know, I discovered because of centonomy, that money is not working for you. Imagine. It's good to look at. Iko kwa account imelala. Yalala kwa nini? You need to be bold. And I prayed on it. Dear Lord, I prayed on it. Kasema, hey, this could ever either make me or break me. Nikipena hii pesa. And of course, I trust him because nim too straight. But there was always that voice in my head. You know that voice in your head? What if it doesn't work out? He, you know how much money that is. In fact, if your parents even knew, you ni shida, ukweli wongo. Sijawai wambia. But then I said, you know what, let's do this. And so, did the whole transfer, gave him the 500K. And of course, even before that, hey, lazima muandikiani, eh? Andike, hey, hakuna chamchezo na pesa, please. Just because it's a friend of yours, whether or not he's in uh, banking or investing and all that, lazima must have a contract. Are we together? Must. And I told him, haya, tuandikiani hapo, chini kila kitu sawa. There was that interest, of course, that the money was going to accumulate over the six months that he was going to, 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 to generate is going to use on his farm. And let me tell you, when that deposit came, because things did work out, I was like, wow. Yes, the money came back, marakava, times something, eh? it felt so good. But then, I told myself, you know what? I could probably do this again. I could probably do this again, because more than even the fact that the money multiplied, again, my confidence. And that was the one thing that I, I was like, yes, this is what I needed. That boost of confidence when it comes to investing, when it comes to just going out on a limb sometimes and pushing yourself and saying, I have to do this or I have to do this. So that I can say, Enyewe, you've gotten out of your comfort zone. It felt amazing. But remember, and this is the one thing even Douglas was pointing out, you need to learn, you need to um, do your homework. Eh? Go there with knowledge. Go there with knowledge. You can't just say at just anyone who comes to you and tells you, ni patia 10k, ah, sawa, shika. No, no, no. Find out, hey, hey, this farm, acreage, ni, 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 what are you planting? You have to be involved. Do the farm visit. See where your money is going. I wasn't able to go for the farm visit though. Uh, I was busy, but I got the pictures and the video and all that. So you need to get into these things with that uh, knowledge. And that knowledge also boosts your confidence to take up that risk or to push yourself 
to that level of, you know, outside your comfort zone. And so here we are today, a place where I never thought I would ever be because someone came and told me about Sentonomy and I don't think I've ever said thank you enough, but I always tell, you know, tell Stan me thank you because he, he opened my eyes to something amazing in my mind as well. And the classes are of so much benefit to you and even those around you. I'm there thinking about treasury bills, you know, bonds, and how I'm going to jump onto the next one. How instead of that money just sitting in your bank account, it can yield even more fruit when you put them in these different places. Because a bank account will never ever give you a benefit to your money. It's just a safe, safe house. They say, yes, you'll get this interest, but do we ever see that interest, by the way? Anyone? Mr. Jayona? I don't see that interest they keep telling me on the brochure. So why not get that money elsewhere? Get out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. All right. All right. And so I just want to say thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for any listeners of my show who are here. Anyone? Yay! <laughs> I appreciate that. And um, parting shot is let's be a bit brave in 2016. The new year offers us an amazing opportunity to try out new things. Cindio, so let's do that. Let's begin now. Don't wait until something happens. Do it. <laughs> <laughs>